so we just got out of seeing Thor Love and Thunder and I, I'm just really really happy with that movie I'm not even gonna bother comparing it with Ragnarok so don't even ask um, because they're both so enjoyable in their own unique ways and I fully attribute that to one of my favorite directors Taika Waititi I just loved the way he brought such a silly sense of humor here that worked so well for me um, and mixed it with emotion and a really fun story with some dark elements too um, and it just all came together for such a fun product um, I loved that it was kind of like a blend of rom-com mixed with like 80s action sci-fi movie it just worked really well for me and it was it was just so much fun I, I that, that's my biggest takeaway I came out of it just with a huge grin on my face I felt happy I felt good um, it just really made me made me feel good it's a feel-good movie um, it, it moves fast I thought the first 40 minutes definitely went a little fast um, but it's just all around fun there's lots of jokes if you really like the sense of humor in Ragnarok it doubles down on it here and I, I just had so much fun I was laughing out loud many times there's so many clever jokes so many clever things there's so much to love about the movie uh, I would have liked the Guardians of the Galaxy to be in a little more they're in it at the start and even their scenes are great but I wanted more from them um, and but oh my god Gore the God Butcher Christian Bale as Gore was awesome and that's my other thing. I loved him so much. He was so perfect in all the scenes he was in. He was like scary, frightening, even a little funny at times. And he even brought out emotion. Like he had a full range. And I just loved that. He was perfect in every scene he was in. And he was so good that I just wanted more and more and more from him. So uh, that's my biggest complaint with the movie. I just want more. I could, I could have gone for like another hour of stuff going on because I was just loving it so much. The, the I again I I, men, I mentioned this a little bit before but it has like the comedy and the emotion and Taika Waititi is so good at having that blend and some really emotional and heavy hitting stuff and yet has these silly elements and you just have this really nice blend and he somehow makes it all weaves it all together so that you don't feel too sad when the emotion hits but it hits you and yet when the comedy comes back it's not like jarring flipping the tone I thought it, he he balances it really nicely. I also really liked the visuals. There was some creative stuff. I really liked the black and white sequences and how they used color and stuff there. Um, I thought that was really cool. Hemsworth was great as Thor once again. I just love him doing this com comical side of the character while also doing the huge action stuff. And oh my God, he, he was huge in this movie. This is the biggest we've ever seen him as Thor and it really paid off. I love seeing him in that opening fight sequence. Um, with the Guardians when he has like the classic 80s kind of look to him and it was just great I loved Taika Waititi as Korg Natalie Portman was also great coming back as Jane and I really loved the story that her character had I loved seeing her become the mighty Thor and getting to see that arc come into the MCU um but yeah I really liked it there's so many other elements I loved the goats were hilarious they killed me every time um the end credit scenes were really exciting and if you're a fan of a certain popular tv show on apple tv right now you'll be very happy with one of the end credit scenes um i so yeah i i loved it i really had a great time with the movie i thought taiko Titi did a great job um it's very different from ragnarok and so i thought it was lots of fun i love this this angle of thor and i really cannot wait for thor 5 Thanks for watching and go see this movie. It is such a good time.